when we take a look at the essence of who we are as a species, as human beings, and we really understand how fragile we really are, and the fact that we believe that we were created by this loving God, yet this loving God made us so vulnerable, so weak, so fragile, incapable of many things, yet he loves us, according to the teachings of a book that many follow blindly, without questioning. I know that I've uh, had my encounters with following that book blindly, but it never really felt right. On the contrary, I would always have to fight my own thought process to try to be obedient. And not in the sense that I have to feel that I have to do anything wrong. As I, I have a well-developed mind that allows me to stop doing things when I need to, not because of any fear of any God or because any book tells me to, just because it's innate in me. I'm a well-organized individual. I know when it's time to stop eating. I know when it's time to stop engaging in activities that are going to harm my person. But again, not because I fear a deity, but because it's innate in me. It's called self-love. And although self-love is not something that has come easily, especially when you have been you know, abused in many forms as growing up, you kind of continue that format of self-abusing. So what I'm getting at is we have to understand that the storylines that we have been given from a very young age holds no substance. It's very weak in its essence and as the weakness of who we are and not our spiritual self, because our spiritual self, when you tap into that source, it's amazing how strong you can be. But these bodies, you know, that were created, um, unless you learn how to tap your spirit with your body and learn how to make that connection and learn how to alter your reality, then yes, the weakness of this flesh which was meant to be that way by the creator that you most of you follow. Now, understand that there's not just one God. There are many gods. And there is one prime creator, which is not spoken about in the Bible. Of course not, because the imposter that has taken over this world doesn't want you to really know that. He wants you to be totally dependent on him and his system and his laws. And look... We're all at a different spiritual journey and I'm not going to sit there and make fun of individuals that believe a certain way or tell you not to believe what you want to believe. That's on you and you have to come to that conclusion. I know that I have roller coastered on this particular path quite a while because of the programming that was placed there from a very young age. Most of you don't know how to break free from that programming. Fear doesn't allow you. So... You will eventually, I hope, you know, that many of you will eventually understand that the vicious cycle that we get on this roller coaster ride that we tend to, tend to uh, get on, ride, be part of, whatever you want to call it, um, is just that. It's just a ride. And when you realize that and you understand that the thoughts can hurt you, the system can't hurt you and that you can break free from anything and everything. You could have better health when you learn how to create a program that allows your body to heal, that allows your body to do things that you were, that you thought that were imaginable or unimaginable to be able to do. So on that note, just Start to reflect, meditate, place the intent that you need to, to break free from this prison planet 
Because if not, you're going to continue this vicious cycle. You're going to get recycled back here again, and it's going to be done over and over again until you learn how to break free from the chains, the chains of fear, the chains of guilt, the chains of religiosity, yes, the chains of all the different cults that you're taught to believe in. You can do this. I have faith in you. Seriously. You're going to fall. You're going to pick up. You're going to wipe your knees. You're going to try over again. Learn from your mistakes. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Because that is what truly teaches you. Fear hinders you. Be brave. Be strong. Don't give your powers away. You're not meant to be a little slave. Not at all. That is not your... That's not the destination. The destination is for you to be able to understand who you truly are. The destination is for you to understand how to utilize those abilities, call them powers, call them gifts, whatever you want to call them. As a creator God that you are, learn, learn to use these skills that you possess. Don't give them away. I know many of you will look at me and say, that is blasphemy and that is this, that and the other. Yes, of course you're going to think that because you've been programmed to believe that. Anything is possible. You don't have to whittle down and live in fear of some deity that is no much more than a magician. You can do greater things. Trust that you can. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make it a short one today. We're getting ready to head out to town and go and take care of some errands and then do work. That's the beauty of the kind of work that we do. We create our own schedule. You're your own boss in a sense of a, of a way, you know. I've never been much of that nine to five type of person. So I like, you know, uh, flexibility in my schedule. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I know many of you are disappointed. You know, any of you are just like shaking your heads, not understanding what went wrong, you know. Nothing went wrong. Everything went right. I found true freedom, you know. Freedom from the guilt, the fear, and the programming. Until you get rid of that programming, you continue the vicious cycle and you'll continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. All right, guys. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.